things I, I definitely could have done better, but you know, I'm just happy to get a good win over a real gritty, grindy opponent like like Tucker. You know, I, he uh, he fought on a regional circuit similar to the one I well in the same area as the one I was on, and uh, heard of his name you know throughout the years, and kind of knew our paths would always meet. But glad it, glad it was on this stage. So now that you actually got to fight him, were you surprised by anything by him? Uh, he's very strong, you know, which I expected. He was stronger than I expected um, and, and gritty. You know, uh, this may be something you guys don't even pay attention to backstage, but all of the fights went to you know, unanimous decision for the prelims. Is it something that you guys think about and go, okay, now I've, you know, we've got the bonuses, so you've got all these fights kind of out of the way. Is that something that you think it sounds like, looks like, you're shocked by that, so it doesn't seem like you knew that. But no, I, I didn't know that. That's that's crazy. Usually, there's always like a, at least one finish in the in the prelims, but eh, sometimes that's how the uh, the chips fly. Um, who do you want next? When do you want to go back in there? Um, you know, I definitely want to take like uh, maybe like this holiday and uh, you know ease my way back into training and start 2022 off with whoever whoever they throw at me. I don't say no. And are you excited to not be in fight camp for Thanksgiving? It's not even a question. <laughs> what are you most excited to eat? Um, to be honest, I like to, I'm a dessert guy. You know, I'm, I think the lemon meringue pie is not safe this year. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Pat. Hi, how are you? Good, man. How are you? Pretty good. Um, man, what what's in the water at a – Hendo Gracie Philly, man. What, what, what is in the water? Man, it's, I tell you what, it's, it's, it's even crazier to see from my angle because I see it every day. Just even the guys coming up that the world doesn't know about yet, you know, but will know about. It's just, it's just incredible, man. It's just a hardworking group. We love each other, you know, like family. And when we're down, we bring each other up. When we're up, we keep each other up. It's just a great environment, you know, great environment for, for great things to come out of. Who are some of those guys that are coming up that uh, the world doesn't know about? Well, one, one that I could definitely uh, tell you about, he fights, um, he's going to be fighting just shy of Christmas. His name's Eddie Torres. I think he's like 4 or 5-0. and oh. He's going to be fighting for the CFFC title. Um, he's definitely one to look out for. You know, he, he could do it all, man. You know, he's... He's, I think he's undefeated as an amateur, too. He's one of my main training partners. Definitely looking forward to being there for him. And then what's it like sharing a card with uh, Sean Brady? Man, complete honor. You know what I mean? Even if he wasn't my teammate. That guy, he's great everywhere. And I, I know it's a bias coming from me, but he's going to be the next welterweight champion. Um, and then would you like to be rebooked with Gavin Tucker? Um, I really don't care. You know, I'm not very big on like, oh, I want to fight this guy. I want to fight that guy. It's just, they're just names. You know what I mean? Whoever UFC wants me to fight, you know, that's, that's my job. That's who I'm going to have to prepare for. Um, and then sticking on that, were you kind of bummed when he pulled out of the fight? Because, you know, there, Gavin Hucker has a pretty big fan base and, uh, it would have been a you know big win on your resume mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, to be honest, um, I was very indifferent. You know, I wasn't uh, bummed. I wasn't um, happy about it. You know, it, it was just, it's like, okay, you know, things happen. You know, I'm used to opponents, you know, either getting injured. I've dealt with injuries. You know, it's just part of the game. You know, no hard feelings. You just move on to the next one. You know, it's part of, part of the job. Awesome, and congratulations. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, I don't know if you knew about it, but I think there's some CFFC fighters, maybe some staff in town that were doing some other things, but they wanted to make sure that they were there to help watch as well. Is that kind of cool to know that they were they wanted to come out here and support you and that you're able to put on such a good showing for them? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, my manager, Rob Hadak, promoter of CFFC, he's he's here. You know, he, he's watching me and Sean tonight, and it's always great to have him around. You know what I mean? He so, helps support us, you know, helps us, you know, get to the next step in our game. I was going to say, do you like trying to be one of those inspirations to those cats that are still fighting in that, hoping to make it to the UFC? Do you feel like you kind of help motivate them to, to do this? I'm a very big believer. What, what you give out to the world, you'll, you'll get back. So absolutely. You know what I mean? Any way I could help my team, you know, it's only going to make us better as a unit. You know, that's all. And then last thing for me, uh, you mentioned, you know, Thanksgiving, uh, you know, since it, the holiday is coming up, I guess, what's one of the big things that you're thankful for this year? Family, family, and family. 
You know, I'm a very big family guy, um, especially when it's like fight week. Uh, you know, we're quarantined. You know, the coaches are my family too, but, you know, can't help but miss the family. And fight day, I wake up, you know, I think about what I got to do, but part of that reward is afterwards I get to spend some time with my lovely girlfriend, my mom, my dad, and my sister, and for that I'm blessed. Thank you. Congrats on the win, Pat. That was probably, you. yes, sir, uh, one of your best performances. Thank but, you. But on a, you're welcome. On a, on a side note, it's a, it, it's a rarity, but it does happen. Fighters get that big win, that big knockout, that big finish. It's almost like a curse. Did you have any, any chip on your shoulder or anything where you said, okay, they just saw me with that first round finish, now I got to deliver that, or nah, it doesn't mean anything? No, nah, you know, like those curses and that superstition stuff, it's just, it's all, it's all here, you know. It's, every fight is a different uh, sl clean slate, you know. It's, no, nah, I, I, I didn't even get really hyped up after that, that last, uh, I was hyped up. Um, that I got to meet Dana, obviously, and, you know, got the performance and got a win over such a tough fighter. But, you know, I enjoyed it for a couple of days, and then I threw it behind me. You know, it didn't serve me anymore. It's time to move forward after that, and here we are. Excellent. And that showed tonight because sometimes fighters will admit, yeah, I was, got all this hype, all these retweets, and people started messing with me, and now I thought I was bigger than I was, and here come the losses. Yeah, man, I, 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 don't, I don't let the ego inflate ever. You know, always stay humble down to earth. You know, at any moment, you know, be, uh, negative things could come into your life. So you just got to stay positive and appreciate what you have when you have it. You did great, man. I, we saw that in the ring tonight over those 15 minutes, even a 10-8 round. Congrats on the win, my man. Thank you so much, brother.